Want the latest buzz in your community? Then go to bclocalnews.com. Online, all the time. BC Buzz. Hello everyone, I'm Marco Morelli for bclocalnews.com. Welcome to the Tuesday edition of the BC Buzz. Here's what happened this week. One man is dead and another is in hospital after a Saturday night shooting in Cloverdale. A 46-year-old woman is dead after she fell down a steep embankment near Harrison Hot Springs on Saturday. In Cloverdale, the long weekend meant rodeo time. And over on the island, a large crowd hit the streets for the annual Victoria Day celebration and parade. A man is dead and another is in hospital after a late night shooting in Cloverdale. Just before 11 p.m. on Saturday, two men were shot at the Legacy Showroom in the Clover Inn at 176th Street and 57th Avenue. Police have identified the man killed as 34-year-old Newton resident Christopher Roy Whitney. Police are saying Whitney was not known to them and it appears he might have been an innocent bystander in the incident. RCMP Corporal Dale Carr of the Integrated Homicide Investigation Team says the man in hospital may have been the target. Witnesses say they saw a male in his early 20s fleeing the scene moments after the shooting. Police have not made any arrests and have not released any more information about possible suspects. The second victim remains in hospital in stable condition. In what started out to be a leisurely walk in the woods ended in tragedy. A 46-year-old Chilliwack woman fell to her death in an area called Rainbow Falls near Harrison Hot Springs on Saturday. Police in Agassiz were called out to the area at about 2 p.m. after the hiker fell from a steep trail alongside the falls and could not be located. After a three-hour search, Agassiz RCMP, Kent Harrison Search and Rescue and BC Ambulance Paramedics located the deceased woman at the bottom of the falls. Ground search and rescue personnel were lowered by helicopter to recover the body from the dangerous area. Officials have not yet released any more information about what may have caused the woman to fall. Well, in Cloverdale, the Victoria Day long weekend means rodeo time. Thousands of people watched the parade, strolled through the midway, and took in rodeo action on Saturday at the 2009 Cloverdale Rodeo and Country Fair. The new invitational format rodeo this year brought in some of the world's top rodeo competitors. This year's fair boasted a whopping $360,000 prize. And finally, a large crowd hit the streets over on the island for the annual Victoria Day celebration. People lined Douglas Street in Victoria Monday morning, braving the threatening rain for the 111th Victoria Parade. Revelers young and old took in the sights and sounds of the 19 American and local marching bands that rocked the streets all morning. The event typically draws more than 32 marching bands from down south, but organizers this year say a dwindling economy was to blame for this smaller turnout. And that just about does it for the Tuesday edition of the BC Buzz. Remember, for more on these headlines and others from around the province, you can come back and visit us at bclocalnews.com. I'm Marco Morelli, and I'll see you next time.